This is Henry Lee from BlueHeronArts.com. Today I'm going to talk about how to draw dragonflies in Chinese painting. Behind me is a masterpiece done by my wife Victoria Lee and me. Um, she did the lotus flower. Um, I only added the dragonfly. Let me give you a closer look. The blue dragonfly I added to this great lotus flower masterpiece. We just framed it. First, let's take a look of this little lantern design on mulberry rice paper. It's supposed to uh, you lit up in the inside so you can see the style is a kind of solid weight um, black dragonfly if you will. Okay now let's get the start. I soak the uh, brush. I'm using a medium size combination hair brush. Uh, which is composed of uh, both sheep hair and uh, wolf hair. And uh, <coughs> I squeezed the moisture uh, before I load ink. I load the pure black ink. You can test the water with a piece of uh, paper. And <coughs> notice the Position of uh, holding the brush is a little bit slant to the uh, paper, not straight. So you can kind of just print and then make another one. Um, outside in. Then add the this one repeat load the black ink you have to do it very swift movement very speedy stroke no hesitation You can make up a little bit, as if it's one stroke. So. Press. I use a pure ink. Black ink. You can use the uh, red or blue color mixed with ink later if you like. But for practice, you can use ink. You need a lot of practice. Look carefully. The front wing, a narrow stroke, and uh, right side. To stop it from bleeding, you can use a piece of uh, rice paper or tissue to blot it.
There is another trick I like to mention is uh, if you want to control the bleeding um, of strokes, you need to use some uh, uh, glue. This is special uh, glue called the peach sap powder um, from natural peach tree. It's traditionally very good to use as a painting glue. And I diluted it with a little water, so you can use the glue water instead of pure water. That gives you less smearing. Can I just print the brush to get the shape. Okay, at last I'm going to show you a, an interesting technique, a trick. That is, you only do one half of the wings and then just uh, flip the paper and uh, get the other half. Effortlessly. See it again. You can do the upper half if you will. So with the plenty of ink again, just flip it. You can use a piece of paper to uh, protect your hand if you like. I like to get my hands dirty. Uh, I used to paint on computers, but uh, I didn't give you this kind of fun. So. Literally, I like to play with the hand. You can make up a little strokes if you need. That's it. <coughs> Just a little acid. To a reflection or something. Here are some other studies I have done on dragonfly. You can see a lot. So practice makes it perfect.
Thank you for watching. Until next time, bye.